Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to properly shut down and restart your computer, plus we're going to go into some more advanced uh, shutdown and restart options as well. So you would be amazed at how many people do not know how to shut down their computer. Many people just press the power button and kill the power, which of course is not good for the operating system because that way you're looking at some uh, loss of data possibly if you have programs open or maybe even some operating system corruption. And this goes for other operating systems besides Windows, you know, Linux and Mac OS as well. So any computer should be shut down properly. And then the same goes for your smartphone as well, because your smartphone also has an operating system. All right, so let's talk about the basics first, and then we'll get into some more advanced stuff here. All right, so if you click on Start, you'll see you have a power button here. So you have several options. This will lock the computer. So if you have a bunch of programs open, this will just lock the screen and leave everything open, all your programs, all your files, and then you just need to come back and put in your password, and then everything will continue as is. So I have this Word document here open, so if I click on lock, it just takes me back to the login screen, and if I put in the PIN or password, I'm back to where I left off, and I still have my document open. And then if you want to put your computer to sleep, you could do this as well. So as you can see here, apps will stay open, when the PC wakes up and then you're back to where you left off. And of course you get set your computer to sleep automatically on its own after a certain amount of time. All right, then we have shut down to turn off the computer. And of course you should close any files or programs before uh, choosing shut down or restart because otherwise it'll be forced to close them on its own and then you might run into some data loss or corruption. And then we have restart, which will just shut down the computer and then turn it back on again. All right, and if you didn't know, another trick you could do on your keyboard is press Alt and then F4, and this will bring up the older style shutdown menu. And you can see you have other options here besides sleep, shutdown, and restart. There's not a lock option, but you could sign out and switch user. And then you could also do that from here as well by clicking on your user account name. You could sign out here or click on the ellipsis, the three dots, and sign in with a different user. So if you click on one of these other users while you're still signed in, it'll just switch the user account. So your account and your programs will still be technically logged in and running. But whatever name you click on here, they will have control of the computer with their account until they either switch back to you or log off. So don't think that picking a different user will shut you out of all your open programs and files. But if you do the sign out option, it will. And you should also close any open files and programs before doing sign out as well. All right, so now let's get into something a little more advanced here. So I have this document here. So you can shut down the computer using the command line. So sometimes you might have to do this if you have no other option, uh, your other settings aren't working, or if you want to do some kind of script or batch file that shuts down the computer for you. And by the way, there are other programs that people have written that you could actually schedule shutting down and restarting your computer as well by uh, using a graphical interface. So I'll put some links in the description for some of those if you want to check those out. All right, so the shutdown command is a shutdown slash s for shutdown, while the restart command is still shutdown slash r for restart. And then the force option will force close running applications. You don't have to use this, but many people like to just to ensure that it works. And then you have the slash T option for the timer. So if you do zero for zero seconds, it'll shut down or restart right away. And if you add, let's say, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds, it'll give a delay before it shuts down or restarts. And if you want to cancel the restart process, you'll need to type shutdown slash A before the timer expires here. All right, so let's try a restart here, and I'll show you the message you get. So CMD, open a command prompt. I paste this in. I'm going to set this to 10 seconds instead of zero because if we set it to zero, you won't get the pop up message where you will uh, if you add a different time period here. So let me close this file so I don't cause any problems here. All right, so I'm going to press enter and then I'll get a little pop up. And even if I click on close, it's not going to cancel the process. Windows will shut down in less than a minute. If I close that, I'd have to type shutdown slash A to cancel it before that 10 second period expires. So now you can see we're restarting, so we'll be back when we're logged back in. 
All right, so we're back at our login prompt here after the reboot. And another thing I wanted to point out too, you can shut down or restart your computer without logging in first. So let's say you changed your mind, you just want to turn it off, you don't want to log back in. Just come over here to the right, click on the power button. Then you have the same options here except for lock because you're not logged in. You can put it to sleep, shut down, or restart from there. All right, so let's log back in. Move on to the next step. Let's open up our document again here. All right, so now we're going to talk about using the shift key when shutting down or restarting. So if you hold down the shift key while you come here and pick shut down or restart, a couple things will happen here. So if you click shut down, Windows will perform a full shutdown instead of using fast startup. So a normal shutdown saves part of the system state to disk so the next boot is faster. And when you hold down shift, this forces Windows to clear everything and power down completely, giving you a cold boot the next time you start up. And then if you do shift restart, this boots into the advanced startup options. And then you can do things such as run troubleshooting tools, go into safe mode, and so on. So this is kind of like a faster way to get to the recovery settings instead of booting to a Windows flash drive, assuming you can get into Windows. So let's try this method right now here. So I'm going to hold down shift and click on restart and keep shift held down until it kind of starts to reboot here. All right, you can see we have this please wait message down here at the bottom. All right, so now you can see we are in our recovery options here, so we can continue and boot normally, turn off the computer, uh, use some type of flash drive or recovery DVD to help us out, and then we have our regular troubleshooting options, such as resetting the computer, which will reinstall Windows, which is a last resort, and then some advanced options here, such as opening a command prompt, uh, going back to a system restore point, uninstalling some updates, and so on. And then we even have some other options here for a system image recovery. All right, so we're going to go back into Windows because we're not going to use any of those options. All right, so now we're loaded back into Windows normally. So there is your overview of how to properly shut down or restart your computer plus some uh, handy tips and tricks so i'll put that information from the word document in the description in case you want to try out some of these extra features all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe mm -hmm.